Hey guys, due to popular demand, I'm going to show you how I calibrate my X and Y axis and how accurate this machine really is. So the first thing we're going to do is turn on the spindle and drill a hole on the far left side. We're going to plunge down with the page down. So over here at the Mach 3 software, we're going to go to our Z axis and we're going to tell it we're at negative 48 or 4 feet. After we zero the Y and Z axis, we can then press go to zero. This is going to move the axis to the right 48 inches and we're going to measure what we get. Then we're going to turn on the spindle and plunge down. Now I'm going to move the gantry out of the way and we can measure what we have right now before any calibration. This side, at the beginning of the circle, we're at 3 eighths. At the beginning of the circle on this side, we are at half inch. That's amazing that it just happened to work out like that, but that is a difference of 1 eighth of an inch. So let's do some calculations. So if we told it to go 48 inches, but it actually went divided by 48.125, an eighth of an inch longer, we get this number. So this number is important. Now we're going to take it to our motor tuning options. We go config, motor tuning, and we can see right now in our x-axis we have steps per inch 1131. Now we simply take this number that we got and multiply it by 1131 and you can see we come up with 1128. So we're reducing the amount of steps per inch a little bit. But over that length that should be the right amount. So let's go ahead and change this and then remeasure. 1128 save y axis 1128 save a axis which is also the y axis 1128 save okay so let's repeat the process but in reverse so reference all zero zero we're going to start by plunging down so now under the x axis we're going to tell it we are at 48 and we're going to want to go back to zero. So I'm going to say go back to zero and we should go over 48 inches exactly to the left. All right, let's turn this on and plunge down. And we can do a final measurement. We are at half an inch and a tiny, tiny bit. And we are at 48 and half an inch. So the difference is 48. We're spot on. Perfect. So you can see with a simple calculation, we were able to easily dial in with just a simple tape measure the CNC to very precise measurements. So hopefully this lays to rest how accurate the machine is and catch you on the next one.